Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A shared heritage in a region of the country can beget a great rivalry. We are taking you for a live look inside the stadium as the Hokies of Virginia Tech and the Mountaineers of West Virginia get set to square off in the battle for the Black Diamond Trophy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. excited to bring you this border war for the Black Diamond Trophy. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Wesley takes it at the four. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. For these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. goes at the 28. Morrow gets around three on that option keeper. Here the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on a corner or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Set. Texas. Cut. Run, run, run. Glover gets the carry. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He goes downtown. Can't hold it in. Jackson's intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. Roger, Roger. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Hey, let's get this down. Yeah. Under pressure. This one will fall incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Fires it quickly. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That was a nice catch. He went up, leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's into the open field. He's at the 20. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Gets 
gets out to around the nine. That brings up second and nine. This is the tenth play of this drive. Hey, we gotta get this stop here, D. Thirty one's the mic. Down. Cut. And he's taken down at the seventh. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you gotta be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. You take so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle at the one-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He tackles him for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Sings it over the middle, touchdown. You know what, Brad? This is great execution here by the offense. The quarterback seems to be getting into a little bit of a rhythm now. And he adds the extra point. So a 13-play, 74-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, seven nothing. Williams has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the running back no good the receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass from their own 26 yard line it's second down here's a throw and it's almost picked By the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play West is waiting for the snap Wesley fields it at the 42 they bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. He's taken down at the 36. First and 10, ball on the 36. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Man can't tack on any yardage. That'll bring up second and three. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Hey, check, check back eleven. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the twenty.
from the 20 yard line. First down. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Jackson was the intended receiver on the runway. That makes it second and 10. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. There are three quarters remaining. Virginia Tech's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He launches one for the end zone. No, incomplete. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's looking for six. Missed him. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. Slings it. They'll bring him down right around the 40. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 19. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 19. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Out of bounds, around the 13-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. He fires this one. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Sooners entered today's game ranked number 14 and hoping to prove they are worthy of being ranked much higher. The Sooners' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Oklahoma has the edge, 23-7. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Wesley from the eight. He's out to the knocked out of bounds to 39 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Virginia Tech is up four. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 43. able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick pass. Brought down at the 33-yard line. An excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Virginia Tech is up by four. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. now from Reese Davis. The Sooners come into the game ranked 14th in the nation. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Oklahoma, eight wins is always a good benchmark for success. The Sooners are out front 30 to 14. All right, Reese, back to our game. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Too easy, too easy. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line. It's second down. And he's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Here we go. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. 
West awaits the snap. Wesley fields it at the 24, and down he goes at the 33. It's not that often, Kirk, we see a team that plays this well when their star player isn't playing well. Now, Wesley's stats line, well, as we approach halftime, nowhere near what we expected. Well, I'm sure he's not too concerned about his individual performance up to this point because the team is playing so well. And this is actually, I think, a, a really a testament to just how good this football team is and how well they're coached to have your star player not playing his best and yet to still have the lead getting ready still for half of football to go. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. He goes out of bounds right around the 34. From their own 34-yard line, third down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. About three yards that time on the screen. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Tackle right around the 46-yard line. The Mountaineers taking their first time out of the half. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Got a man. Watch out here. He's at the 40, and he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. him out at the 27. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. He makes his way to about the 38. A gain of eight on the carry. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And he's sacked. Well, we've played a half of football. The Hokies in front by 11.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but yeah. they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Virginia's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Wants to throw outside. Has it to the senior. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. First down. Let's go, D. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Keep 15. Keep 15. I got him. I got him. Check, check. Green nine, touchdown. Fires out to his receiver. And he's level at the seven-yard line. Gibson with the tackle at the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. And they get the sack. How about the effort of the defense right there? For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. From the 15-yard line, second down. Runs right for a nice game. That makes it third and goal. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds it's fourth down this one should be makeable and they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here he gets it up and it's good even though they gave up a field goal here that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now it could have just as easily been a touchdown 
West has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Virginia Tech holds an eight-point advantage. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down. 36. We've got a first and 10. All on their own 36. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's good work. That makes it second and six. Two tight, two tight. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's an opening. Nice run there. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. There's a handoff, left side. And down he goes, around the 50-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 50. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. Thomas makes the tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Virginia Tech up by eight. Nice run up the middle. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to From the 38 yard line, first down. The Mountaineers saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. for the first down, and he's tackled around the 19-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 19-yard line, first down. some daylight. That's a great tackle at the eight. This is the 12th play of this drive. And he's tackled right away. From the one yard line, it's second down. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Virginia Tech's up by eight.
into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Virginia Tech is up by eight. Touchdown, Hokies! That score puts him in the driver's seat right now offensively. The question is, can the defense come here in the fourth quarter? Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a t-shirt that says finish. Finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down close to their opponent's territory. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 21. Taken back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 21. Out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Wesley, the return man. Wesley fields it at the 37. He's taken down at the 43. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Outside after a nice pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. 46 is right there. Check in, check in. Hey, check, check back. Hey, hey, hold it there. Hold it there. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's finally shoved out at the 26-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Less than three minutes in the game. two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. From the 24-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. West Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. He scrambles. He heaves it to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Well, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. 
The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. He makes the PAT. Williams gets set to kick this one away. From the five-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 26. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 43. Just under two minutes in the game. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 37-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. Check, check. That brings up second and nine. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 23. Hill picks up about five yards on that hookup. Man, that's another first down on this try. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down at about the 17 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Gotta do better. Come on, QB, come on. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Switch, switch, switch. Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. Big play, and it's first and goal. That's good for him. That makes it first and goal. Quick throw. And they push him out around the three yard line. Gain of four yards. That brings him second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. With the pass incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. We have less than a minute to go. On the pass, touchdown. He tosses touchdown pass number 25. I think this speaks to the great bond that this quarterback has with his wide receivers. The receivers know that he'll get him the ball, and he knows that they'll bring it in. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. A nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Tackle at the 36-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He's brought down in the open field. A gain of eight on the carry. West Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Oklahoma! 
Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. They're just running between the hash marks and daring the defense to stop them, which they did on that occasion. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. It's second and 12. Ball on the 28. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Virginia Tech 28, West Virginia 12. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Virginia Tech came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.